Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial about um, about installing Fedora in a virtual machine. Um, my Windows laptop here, I don't have any partition space to do a dual boot system with um, Fedora. And um, I could, I, there's some options that I could create a dual boot system with by dynamically partitioning the hard drive, but let's say I don't want to do that. One thing that I could do is go to this website it's a virtualbox.org and it's a virtual machine you just click download and download virtualbox to your windows machine it, there also it'll also work in other um, platforms as well so i downloaded virtualbox and i ran the installation and i just accepted the defaults and went through the default installation and this is what virtualbox looks like Okay, so here it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, virtual box to hold Fedora 12. So I'm going to click on New, and then I'll hit Next. And I'll give it a name. I'll say Fedora 12. And then I'll choose the operating system, Linux. And then I'll choose the version of Linux, which, well, Fedora, the platform of Linux, the distribution of Linux is Fedora. I get that cool little icon when I do that. Then I hit Next. and this is the important part. Um, for uh, for it to work correctly, I need to up the base memory from 384 or 383 megabytes. I suggest you up it to a gigabyte, 1,024 megabytes of memory. Otherwise, uh, I've had trouble getting uh, Fedora 12 to install with less than that. So I'm going to up that, hit next, and then uh, create new hard disk. All right and then I'll hit next and I'm gonna choose dynamically expanding storage you could do a fixed size uh, storage space on your hard drive or dynamically expanding storage either way um, and I'll hit next and alright and then everything else looks good I'll hit the defaults and hit finish and now alright hit the finish button and there it is. There's my uh, my virtual drive for Fedora 12 ready to go. And so now I've got a DVD here with Fedora 12 um, i386 and I'll just pop that in my CD-ROM here. Right? I pop that in my CD-ROM and then I will just click start and that'll start off this start up this virtual computer. And We'll see what happens here. Okay, there it is. Opens up another window. Um, it's going to try to capture my mouse here. So I'll click OK to uncapture the mouse. You use the right control button. I won't, do not show me this message again. And welcome to the first run wizard. CD-ROM, next, finish. Okay, I accepted the defaults. And once again, captures the mouse and do not show this message again and now if I click in here my mouse is captured and it's just like I'm sitting in a installation of Fedora 12 on a tower or a system but just in a small window and I'll just hit enter to install the system if I hit the right control button on my keyboard it escapes my mouse and I can reposition this window. These are little tools that, that show me about um, how this virtual machine is running. Okay, and then it's running the basic installer here for Linux. Alright, I'm hoping that the Anaconda installer will work. I'm going to skip the media test. And we're hoping to run the Anaconda installer. All right, there it is, running Anaconda 12.46. That's the graphical installer for Fedora, and we'll see if it works uh, this time. Hopefully, by giving it that extra memory, that'll be enough to run it. Okay. Well, we're getting some computers a little slow, but I've got a cursor here, and it looks like I'm going to be in the Fedora install, and I'll walk you through the installation of Fedora 
in the next video.